Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel on mathematics. So today we're going to talk about how to actually remember the math that you learn. So we learn a lot of math and it's really sad because we forget it. As human beings, we're not perfect, right? We're not uh, machines. We tend to forget things and that's normal. So whether you're a student or someone who just wants to improve their math skills for whatever reason, this video is for you. This can help you remember the math that you actually learn. And just remember that math can be tough, but with the right approach, you can make it easier to remember what you've learned. So let's get started. So number one, number one is to start with understanding. The first and most important step to remember math is to understand it. If you don't understand the concept, it will be very difficult to remember it. So take your time and make sure you understand what you're learning before you move on to the next topic. Now, I want to say a lot about this because there's more that needs to be said here. So I'm sure you've experienced this where you open a book like this one here, which is a great book, Calculus by Lewis Lightholt, excellent book. And you start paging through it and you run into something that you don't understand. What do you do? Well, you, you look for other resources. You go on the internet. Um, you ask your teacher. You ask your friends. Whatever it takes, right? And if you still don't get it, then sometimes it is better to move on. So unfortunately, that doesn't really help you. The good news is when you revisit those things that you don't understand, it will be easier to learn and so eventually you will understand them and then it makes it easier to remember what you learn. So number one rule, start with understanding, but again, not always possible and there is no easy answer to that, right? You can't just say, oh, just understand it and you'll learn. It do doesn't work that way. Understanding takes a lot of effort and it takes a lot of practice, which is the second thing I want to mention, which is practice, practice, practice. So practice is super important. Math is a subject that requires a lot of practice. So make sure that you're doing enough of it. I would say solve as many problems as you can. And if you come across a difficult problem, well then, you know, spend as much time as you can afford to on that problem and then move on. There was this famous mathematician. He passed away several years ago. I have several of his books. His name was Paul Halmos. And he would always say that when he ever, when he wanted to learn a new math subject, what Paul would do, and I'm calling him by his first name here, just, I don't know, but what Paul would do would, was he would try to do as many problems as possible and gather as many examples on that subject and just do tons of math problems. And that's how you learn math, by actually doing math problems. So the more practice you do, the better you're going to get at remembering things that you learn. Third one is to use mnemonics. And, and this is one that I, I still use for a few specific things. I've never been like a huge person with mnemonics. There's all kinds of mnemonics for like the trig functions and stuff. So you can use those. So mnemonics are memory aids that can help you remember concepts and formulas. For example, a simple one is you can use the acronym PLEASE, P-L-E-A-S-E -E, to remember order of operations like parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, you know, addition and subtraction. You can you can use that to help you uh, you know, remember uh that, right? So that's one way. Uh, another way uh is to use flashcards and note cards. That is something that sometimes people use, but again, I'm not a person who um uses these much. So, but I should mention it because some people do benefit from this. Another one is to create visual aids. This is a great way to remember certain math concepts. You can create like mind maps and flow charts or graphs. Um, I do this a lot for a lot of the basic functions. What I mean by that is you want to memorize the graphs of functions. And I think that's a great visual aid. For example, memorize the graph of the natural log of the sine function of the cosine function of y equals x of the quadratic of the cubic. There's certain things, there's certain fundamental things in mathematics that you want to just be able to visualize certain graphs. And from those graphs, you can get a lot of information. So like if you know what the graph of the natural log looks like, you know the domain, you know the range, you know it's increasing, you know uh, when it crosses the x-axis. You know, it just tells you so much. 
you know it's inverse is e to the x and it's reflected across the line y equals x. So from those visual aids, uh, from the graphs of functions, you can create so much more mathematics and you can learn so much more. And the more math you learn, the, the better you become and the differently, the more differently you think about it. So certainly the way I think about algebra and calculus is not the way I thought about it, you know, 10 years ago. And you ask someone, you know, who has been doing math longer than me and they will think of it in another way. And the last way, the last way is probably the ultimate way to remember what you learn. And this is, this is my favorite way. It's to teach someone else. And, and you can do this even if you're not a teacher, even if you're not a tutor, you can, you can help people. You can join study groups. You can teach your friends. There's something about talking about math and presenting it on a board or on a piece of paper and explaining to someone that helps you learn. So teaching is a great way to reinforce what you've learned. And when you teach someone else, you know, you have to think about the concept in a different way and explain it in your own words. And this can help you understand it better and make it easier to remember. So I got into this discussion or at least a thought process and there was, there was some comments on YouTube about this and some people were talking about this. And the question was, you know, do you, do you have to be able to teach it to really understand it? Because I feel like I've known some really, really smart people, but they can't really explain what they know very well. And then I've known other people that can't explain things. So I do think that, um, you know, it, it's a skill to be able to explain mathematics. And when you do that, the more you explain, the better you get. So, yeah. So remembering math, again, those are, those are five things you can do. Uh, so again, start with understanding, understanding what you're learning is super important, important, practice, 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 use mnemonics. Those are like little memory aids, uh, visual aids. And for me, at least the big one in mathematics is graphs, you know, know the graphs of those basic functions. And then again, the ultimate way to, you know, reinforce what you learn so you don't forget it is to teach someone else, right? You teach someone else mathematics and you're going to remember it for a long, long time. There's a reason your teachers, if you're, if you're in college, there's a reason teachers seem so smart, okay? It's because they go in there every day, think about it. If you went in there every day and you, or you know, every semester and you went in there and you taught a calculus one course, think about how good you would become at calculus. I mean, this is, you look at this, this is like, oh yeah, you know exactly how to do pretty much every example in this book or most of the examples in this book. And if you don't, you're like, oh, that's interesting. And I mean, you can pick up a calculus book and learn. That's, you become really good. And that's through teaching. So you become better through teaching. So yeah, those are some things that um, you can do that will help you remember the math you learn. Hopefully this video has helped someone out there who is trying to remember. And just remember, it takes practice, it takes time. Um, don't give up. Anyways, I wanted to keep this video short, so I'm going to end it here. I hope it's been helpful. Make sure to like and subscribe and all that good stuff. Until next time, good luck and take care.